I sure as hope that all of the names on the program are correct because that's what I'm doing the commentary on. And it's so far. Kieran Mulqueen. Kieran Mulqueen blocked down. I'd say I got my teams a little mixed up at the start, but not anymore. Mulqueen is battling for the ball. It'll be a Mulqueen playing with Belly Brown and the senior team today later on. A free ball. Free to Balangari. Going to be taken by Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the team. Balangari steeped into the addition of the GAA. Likewise in Castletown, Ballygrand, the ball goes over the bar. And it is the score of the moment. Balangari, two points. Castletown, Ballygrand, no score. Fast and furious hurling so far, the ball has whipped and gone out of the line. Your linesman there, Kevin Walsh, well known in refereeing circles. It's a line ball and Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the Ballangari team, is going to take it. In the danger zone once again, but well bought out. A great ball and a good save by the goalkeeper. Noel O'Brien brings it out. Castletown, Ballygrand on the move again, but the ball has just passed out over the line. Line ball, Castletown Belly Grand getting in with the shot again. A lovely one in, and it's going high and all the way over the bar. A great, great score from the far side of the field. A tremendous score, and the crowd here behind us in the stand really appreciate that fine score. A long puck out down the field again. Ballangari towards the danger zone once again. It's another free. Free one there by Pat Culhan. It's going to be free from Ballangari about 40 metres out from the goal, as you can see there on your screen. And Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the Ballangari team, stands poised and hits it straight between the posts and over the bar for Ballangari's third point. Ballangari three points, Castletown, Ballygrand one. A low puck out. It's a dangerous one. Well caught in the centre of the field and hurled well down. A potty, potty lake. Right of the field and Morris Roach is going to take it. A beautiful one for Morris. The left. Akito gets in the danger zone inside for Castletown Ballygran. Whipped across the square, but there to bring it out for Ballangari is Hamas O'Keefe. A long one from O'Keefe down, but well defence and good defence from Castletown Ballygran as they get it to the far side of the field. Battling for possession. Ballangari fumbling and dabbling with it, but it's not happening with Castletown Ballygran, but yes, the ball is still in play. They're playing a good lot of ground hurling. The ball once again goes out over the line at the far side of the field. And it's a line ball for Castletown Ballygran. A lot of Kitogs on this Castletown Ballygran team. Padraig Lake cuts it, a good one. Very near the sideline once again. 
Niall Stapleton. Niall gets the puck, but it's half blocked down. Comes once again to Pat Colhan. Inside to Tom O'Keefe. O'Keefe battling for possession. He has it on the hurley. O'Keefe is 25 metres from goal. He fails to hit. A shot. A goal! A great goal for Ballangari. And there will be question marks about the Castle Down Valley Grand backline after that one. He seemed to steal all the ways in. Failed to hit. And then eventually whipped it on the ground and stuck it in the net. A long puck out from Castletown Valley Grand, full back. Eamon on Duffy to the centre of the field. Valley Grand having it all their own way so far. Good ball, whipped on down the far side of the field by Pat Colhan. What am I saying, Pat Colhan? Of course, it is Morris Roach. <coughs> Here come Castletown Valley Grand. He has it in his stick. He's coming right through. Fails to get the puck. He's still there, turning, twisting. And you turned a little bit too much to the referee. It's a free out to Ballangari. <laughs> Own Daffy with a long puck out. The ball whipped them down the field. Here comes Pat Colhan. Colhan gets a long puck in. The wind is taken. It's a dangerous one. Oh, well. How dangerous that could have been. And Cyril Farrell just managed to get it out of the danger zone there for Castletown Valley Grand. It's a free to Castletown Valley Grand. Kevin Walsh there. Placing the ball. Patrick Lake takes it, wearing that new style hurling helmet. Play right in front of us here under the stand. A long ball down the field. A lot of these miners you can see wearing the new protective helmet, and why not? Ball gone out over the line down there. It's a line ball and there's nobody to take it as of yet, but number two is going down to take it as the Danica Feehan. A nice one from Danica. Something like Joe Hennessy of Kilkenny would do. Here comes Pat Colhan. Striding to get possession. The clash of the ash. Something you don't see in hurling a lot today. Mulqueen whips and Colhan whips and breaks his hurley, but the play goes on. Here comes the rustic play in at right half back. Willie Farrell gets the play to the far side of the field, but it's a free. And Padraig Lake will hit this one again. It goes Paddy like a long one, a dangerous one. Into the hand of Canelli. Canelli's in the dangerous zone. Fails to hit, kicks, boot, hand to get all. Once you get it in, the big full forward, Danaher. Gets it across the square. A dangerous ball. He has it in his hand. But look at the post. A shot. A good point. JP Morrison puts it over the bar. A good point there. Got the possession, a look at the posts, and straight between them. For Castledown, Valley Grand, second point. One three to two points. That's the deficit between the sides. Number six, Michael Quaid gets it to the far side of the field. Go ahead. Good ball in from Ballangari. O'Gorman gets it in. Mulqueen there, Kieran Mulqueen fouled as he had the ball. It's a free, going over to take it. It's Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the side. He's been accurate on three occasions already. 
possibly two. I said three. And if he scores this one, it will be number three, and he'll correct my error. Well, he must have heard me. It didn't go right for him on that occasion. It was an awkward angle. Patrick Tierney, the captain of the team with a long puck out. Ball is whipped. Here comes the centre back, Kieran McMahon. Both teams finding it hard to get clean possession. It's a free referee close to the action. A free ball dead centre of the field, just off centre of the field there. Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the side. With a long puck from O'Keefe. Runs way down the field. A dangerous one and goes harmlessly wide. Harmlessly wide there from Neil Stapleton, playing at centre forward for Ballangari. Here comes Stapleton once again. Has the ball in his hurley, gives it inside. Pat Fitzgerald, Pat failing to get it up and again. Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the team, trying to further the possession of his players. The ball goes on. Here comes Stapleton on the far side of the field. A shot from Niall Stapleton and it goes wide. Patrick Tierney, captain of the Castletown Ballet Grand team. A lot of scrappy hurling going on so far. No clean, no direct hurling. A free, Kieran McCarthy gives it a free on the far side of the field. Tom O'Keefe is going to hit it. O'Keefe with a long one down the far side of the field. Push on the back. The referee says it's a free to Ballangari. Right in their own half back line. That's their centre back that's going to take it. Owen Daffy. Sorry, Michael Quaid is going to hit it. Game goes on, it's sort of at a slow pace at the moment, but this young man must have heard me, he's come with the ball. One of the greatest skills in the game, O'Keefe has the ball in his hand, a shot and over the bar, but the referee said you ran too far with the ball. It's a free to Castletown Ballygran. Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the Ballangari team, overplaying the ball and the referee awards a free to Castletown Ballygran. Pat Tierney with a long one, it's gone very high into the sky under it. It's Quaid, the centre back, has it in his hand. He was pushed on the back and the referee awards him a free. Here comes O'Keefe, he seems to be the race marksman. He's taking all of the replaced balls. It's a long one from O'Keefe, it's going high into the square. Harmless, he's still kept in play. A great ball across. Palangari. Well, it's the other way you're playing. He's coming out. There's only one way to goal, and that's straight through. Here comes Castletown Ballygrand. They take advantage of any mistake that's going to happen. Here comes their corner forward, Timmy McKenna. Timmy, if you score here, you'll be very much a, a hero. A great a goal! It's a great goal! I said if it, a score came here, it would be very, very important. Castletown Ballet Grand are back in the game with a flurry. Only a point between the sides. One of the greatest forms of hurling, whipping on the ball overhead. And how classy it was done by the big full forward. Castletown Ballet Grand, they've seemed to got a new lease of life. They're coming into the game. A great solo one by the Ballangari halfback, Joe Gorman. He still has the ball. 
but a poor puck from one half back to the other Castletown have a new life a lovely pace of play oh tipped away nice defense here comes Stapleton nice piece of tidying up there by the half back Hurley or boot if Nicky English can do it so too can Pat Fitzgerald So too, I'm getting my names all mixed up, but Castletown won't mind if they can get another score. And wide. Here come Castletown trying to make their way out again. A great ball and a great clearance up the field. Morris Roach, it's in the danger zone again. Ballon Gary, get it out. He's a big man for the minor, number 14, Danaher. A great and a dangerous ball in. Michael Purtell trying to get it away. Alan Gary coming through, that sweet little number 13 playing at corner forward. Pete Morrison. No mistake about it, it's over the bar. The sides are level, a great score there. Morris Roach, a good score from Morris Roach. And this game on the Gaelic grounds has come alive for the county minor hurling B final. <laughs> Michael Purtell with the puck out. Well bought down the field again by the center field, but fails to hit it. Tommy O'Gorman, it's got away from Tommy. Great block down. One of the old st great skills of hurling. Something we don't see too much of. Even at senior level. Lovely hurling. Niall Stapleton gets it down the field. Castletown defense has got got confidence in themselves at the moment it's a free out there one of the players is down injured let's hope it's not too serious back with the play at the far side of the field the injured player is up and away again Al and Gary are on the move again here they come they're coming close to that goal that's a great hand pass oh that's a great point Oh, let's, there's a great tradition of handball back around Ballangarry. And there's just one excellent of it now. That's a great score. Came from Pat Fitzgerald. One of the players down a little injury again. That's Neil Stapleton. He's been receiving some attention. It looks as if he has re received a facial injury. There's a free. Way down the field. Well blocked down, that little nippy half back over there. He's playing very well. Tom O'Gorman drives it down to the far side of the field. But here comes Willie Farrell. Willie gets a clearance up the far side of the field, very close to the sideline. 
I must say that the back backs on both teams are playing very well. Great stuff, great whipping on the ground. Free ball. Referee very close to the action, very much well up of the play. Awards the free to Castletown Ballet Grand. Padraig Lake is going to take it. Padraig. A great ball, a great ball whipped down the field. That's a dangerous one into that big full forward again. Here comes Brian. And Brian Reardon drives it wide. Ballangari 1-4. Castletown, Ballygran, 1-3. That's a good puck out. Tom. Nice to see ground hurling being played as it is today. The great ball up the field from Tom O'Gorman. Well caught at half back. Remind you a little bit of Pat Foley of Patrick's Well. A great ball in again. Here come Castle Down. Tom O'Keefe, the captain. A great one. Inside, Stapleton almost had it. Danica Feehan. Danica battling for possession. Here comes that nifty halfback. And from one nifty half back to another nifty half back. Jared O'Gorman, well taken off of him and well brought up the field once again. It's a lot of good hurling being played here so far. Two good teams that have managed to come this far so far in the competition. The ball is at the far side of the field, and here come Castletown Ballygran again. A shot. Oh, a great save. It would have been a dangerous one. O'Shea managed to get a block in. Here they come again. Palangari way down the field. Tom O'Keefe, the captain, fails to get a puck in. Palangari seemed to be forced to the ball. There's their centre back. Michael Quaid gets the puck down the field. Palangari on the move. Oh, wide. Well, he'll be killing himself for that one. He's a sub that has come in. Stephen Kiley has come into the team. Namesake of myself. Well, he got a great break there. He possibly should have scored a point, if not a goal. They have possession again. And he's awarded a free, a free to Castletown. Sorry, you're free to Ballingarry on the 21 meter line. And O'Keefe was making his way over to take it with the familiar white helmet. Castletown have lined the goal, but something tells me O'Keefe will be quite satisfied with a point. And this is one of the occasions he could prove me one and score a goal. And Castletown surely hope that doesn't happen. Hasn't put me wrong, the ball has gone over the bar. Ballingarry 1-5 to Castletown. 1-3. Ball is back in play and out towards the centre of the field. Castletown could do it another point or two before a half time. Good ground hurling being played here so far. There goes O'Keefe battling for it. But here come Castletown down the swing and a lovely solo run. Look at the determination on his face. There, Matt Callagher. Niall Stapleton playing in the forwards but down assisting in the backs. Lovely up and away. The mentors there in your way. Padraig Canali. Definitely those mentors should not be there on the field. Palangari are poaching and looking for another score. 
but they'll have to contend with a very able fullback in Tierney. And the ball, well, it's gone over the bar. Heartbreaking scores there coming from Ballingarry. 163.13. Here comes Tierney, the captain of the Castletown team, ready to puck it out. And we're at half time here, and it's Castletown down by three points. The score here at the Gaily Grounds on the 10th day of September 1989. It's half time in the County Minor B final. Balangari 1 6, Castletown, Ballygran 1 goal, three points. Well, you're welcome back here, of course, to the Gaily Grounds for the second half of this Minor County B final. Kieran Canty there just waiting to get a new slitter coming in from Ballangarry. Ballangarry lead 1 6 to Castletown, Ballygran 1 3. The ball is in and the game is on in the second half. Stephen Kiley and that nifty half back. This man is telling you is making an impression for Ballangarry since he came in. Neil Stapleton. A good ball up the field. Dermot Kelleher chasing that ball to the far side of the field. The boat number nine, Samo Garman for Alan Gary. A long ball in from Kelleher. It's a free push on the back. So a free Canty. A little bit of back chat. He brings the ball further up the field for Alan Gary on there. 65 metre line. A long puck up the field. Castletown Valley Grand will need a score or two. Oh, the goalkeeper. Well, he got rid of it in time. Still far. Tom O'Gorman, the far side of the field. Neil Stapleton has the ball. Trying to make room for himself. Kicking at it, whipping at it, doing anything you like with it. But he's trying to score it. It's in the danger zone. A great save. Oh, a great save by Surly Farrell. A goal there would have been very, very, very dangerous indeed. 65. Tom O'Keefe is going to take it. Just three minutes gone in the game so far. Stapleton went up but failed to catch. Stephen Kiley, he's playing very well since he came in. Oh, a great goal! Oh, well, give credit where credit is due. That was one of the best goals I've seen in quite a long time. A great shot across from Stephen Kiley. The big number 12, Pat Culhan made no mistake about it. 2-6 to 1-3 in favour of Palangari. At the free and Palangari come back once again. A lot of noise going on here in the background. It's over anxious young boys and girls trying to knock out the rear end of the Mackey stand. Game goes on and Ballingarry trying to get another score. Castletown Bally Grand desperately need a score if it's a save and in contention of this minor B Harling final. They will have to get that ball closer to the goal if they're intending to score. At Culhan battling for it. That's the big man who got the goal, Neil Stapleton. I wonder if he anything to Frank who scored a great goal for Ireland the other night. Along the delivery of the field from Pat Tierney. Well blocked down. Palangari poaching and looking for another goal. 
Pat Tierney in there in the middle of it all. I think the referee, Kieran Canty, will throw that one in. Alan Gary once again trying to get in. Fouled in the, as they were going towards goal. It's going to be a free. Take it from there, says Kieran Canty. He lifts a little blade of grass to see which way the wind is blowing. He lifts and he strikes. It's looking good. And it is good. It's over the bar. 2-7 for Ballangarry. 1-3 for Castletown. Ballygran. A long puck out from Tierney. He's aided with the wind in the second half. Oh, well, this man is playing tenacious hurling at right half back. Jerry O'Garman. Alan Gary are having all the plays so far in the second half. Stephen Kiley whipping and whipping hard. Here comes Pat Cullahan. He scored that great goal a few minutes ago, but Castletown Valley Grand back trying to get it out. You pull both ways as the referee. He awards a free to Alan Gary. And going to take it is Tom O'Keefe. Tom, oh Tom, you've driven it wide. Ball has gone wide, close in freeze. That should be put over the bar. Long puck out from Tierney once again. Alan Gary's centre back, Kieran McMahon. Sorry, Michael Quaid. Neil Stapleton. Ball on Hurley, eyes on the ball. Pat Culhane has the ball in his hand, half blocked down. Stephen Kiley fails to get it. Culhane once again going across to the far side of the field, battling for it there. Aiden Quaid gets it across. Here come Castletown, Bally Gran and Aiden Morrison out the field. Castletown finding it very hard to get that ball down to their own scoring area. Whipping and whipping hard. That's the sub that's come in for Castletown Ballygran, or is it number 19 and number 15? It's very hard to tell from the backs of their jerseys. We'll find out later in the game. Castletown Ballygran trying to make a score or two. A free. A free into Castletown. And Padraig Lake is going to take it. Nice run from Padraig over the bar. That's a good score. 1 4 to 2 7. They need a goal if they're to come back into the game. Michael Pertel drives it out the field. Well caught in the centre of the field there. Well caught indeed. I'm Morris Roach, and incidentally, Morris was the scorer of that last point. It's going to be thrown in. Stephen Kiley racing for the ball. Hasseltown whipping on the ball. Nothing like it comes in the way of the referee, even though he hopped as he tried to get out of the way and he has time for a smile and why not whipping on the ball again good ball racing up to the far side of the field and as you can see there from that picture the right hand side of the stand here at the Gaelic grounds not too heavily populated yet but give it about a half an hour and I can tell you there'll be a rousing crowd here from the parishes of Dune and Bally Brown for this senior hurling final Stapleton goes up for it Stapleton fails to hit Castle Sound centre back 
Gordon McMahon puts it down. Here comes Stephen Kiley, a tenacious figure on the team since he came in for Ballangari. Well, a very much alike in physique because that's Stephen Kiley that went for the ball at this side. Maybe it's a brother of his at the far side. Nice one, chipped into the air. Trying to further it was Padre Canali. Battling for it there, the ball has gone out over the line. It's a line ball for Castleton. They could badly do with a goal. Line cut going to be taken by their centre back, Kieran McMahon. Tom O'Shea with the ball, he's the captain of the team, he's gone 40 yards with the ball. A great hand pass inside to Kylie. Uses that hand pass, very, very effective again. A lovely score. A great hand pass over the bar. Something you don't often see, I can tell you that much. But Tom O'Shea must take the credit for it, a minter runs across the field there. Good ball for Castletown, low down the field. They need a score. Here comes their corner forward, John Lynch. John has got inside the defence. He's got inside the centre back. He's coming. He's failed and blocked down. There's a lot of... Ball is whipped on it again, like I do with a score, I can tell you. Great ball up the field. Neil Stapleton goes up for it. Stephen Kiley, ball, look at that, that's the heart of these men from Castletown, Ballygrand. Oh, well, tenacious stuff there by the halfback, Willie Farrell. Hurl dear boot, William try his best to get it out of the way. Here comes the Kitog up to take it. Nice one from Willie, but it's cut by Tom O'Shea. A long one from Tom. It's sailing in towards Tierney. Comes the corner back, he whips in it well. As far as Willie Farrell. Willie Farrell from A to B has gone a long ways down the field to their full forward. Pierce Danaher, Pierce gets it in. Only as far as the corner back, Sean Lane it is for Ballangari, but Sean gets it way out the field. Close to the line. Here's Danaher gets the puck in again. And here comes number nine, and it's Tom O'Garman. Neil Stapleton battling for the ball. <laughs> Michael Portal getting the long one down towards Stephen Neil Stapleton. Stapleton, the lovely hand pass inside to Kylie. Remember the two how great points he got from a hand pass. Will he give us a third? Oh, well, Stephen. Even Thurley got a little bit hot and therefore the ball dropped off. Long puck from Kulnan and it's gone wide. Pat Kulnan there playing at right half forward and wearing number 12. The ball has gone wide. Score Balangari 2-8. Castletown Ballygran 1-4. Well, after consolation, they're after giving a point. So correction on the score, 2-9 for Ballangari, 1-4 for Castletown Ballygran. Aidan Quaid with the ball. Aidan fails to get the puck in. In the danger zone once again, Kylie is in there. Here comes Neil Stapleton. Here comes Castletown Ballet Grand and there. Samantha's playing well today. The ball has gone out for a 65. And the score remains the same, 2-9 to 1-4.
Castle Town need a goal if they're to come back into the game. Indeed, they're in no great hurry to take it, I can tell you. It's easily known that Ballangari are ahead. Tom O'Keefe is the captain of the team. He's going to take it. the game it's going it's getting tough down there the linesman or the umpire waves it wide well one of the Castletown Ballygrand players down injured we can't see from here we can't get a look at his number let's hope it's not too serious comes Tierney with a long puck way up high into the sky broken down the center of Neil Stapleton whips on it but here come Castletown can they engineer a goal they need one they've got the break in the defense this is the chance they've got can they take it here comes their corner forward John Lynch John is still battling for it but the ball comes out <laughs> Far side of the field. They need to engineer a goal. A long one from... And gone wide. Player down injured. Good ball, whipped down the far side of the field. Referee awarding a free to Castletown, Bally Grand. They need a score, they need a goal. Time is ticking away. Morris Roach is going to hit it. There goes Morris with the high one and the dangerous one and it's gone wide. Well, Time is ticking away, as I said. Balangari lead two goals, nine points to one four. The game goes on down the far side of the field. Castletown, Ballygrand, they need a goal. Hurley's break and the clash of the ash. Here comes Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the team. A hand pass that goes astray, but he runs on and picks it himself. Palangari, yes, and over the bar. A nice point from their corner forward, Adrian Quaid. He lifts and he looked and he drove it straight between the post. A long puck out. Here comes Neil Stapleton. Stapleton with a long one in and it's a dangerous one. Whipping on the ball. Well intercepted. Out to Tierney, a big man, a strong man. Hand passes it out of defence. It's in the danger zone once again. And the ball has gone wide.
Michael Pertel with the puck out. A long one towards the centre of the field. Neil Stapleton goes up for Ballangari. He doesn't win it, but now he's in. And he's coming with the ball. Kylie is running away on his right. Will he pass it or will he stay going as he has himself? Has he gone too far with the ball? No, he was fouled. Tom O'Keefe, the captain of the team, is going to take it. Tom, who has scored a good number of points in the first half. Well, certainly one shouldn't be missing those ones, but he has a long puck out again. Well brought down in the centre of the field. A nice one and a great score. There's a switch in the Castletown Valley Grand team. Tierney is moving out towards the centre of the field and number nine, Tom O'Gorman, is moving in to full back. Castletown, I think, are also preparing a sub. Ambrose Danaher, I think we'll see him in the action pretty soon. Willie Farrell, a long one from Farrell. A lovely little side step. He's making his way up the field. Morris Roach. A great one. Lynch gets in before it and it's gone, gone wide. <laughs> Ball is out. Ambrose Danaher there, as I said, getting ready to come in. And he'll have to wait until the ball goes out of play again. A lovely little sidestep from Kylie. You're not going to get it too easy, I can tell you, Stephen. Stephen whips the hurley round, gets the puck halfway in. Pat Fitzgerald there, battling for it. It's Pat who still has the ball. And Pat who puts it straight between the posts. 2 12 for Balangari, 1 4 for Castletown, Bally Grand. Castle down, who could have only, have only managed to score a point in the second half. The big full back has gone towards centre field. He got possession and was fouled. He'll run in, I've no doubt, and trying to get into the full forward line. To see, could he engineer a goal? Oh, well, I don't think that free has gone as far as he would have liked it to go. Castle down. Tierney's gone inside. That ball is going to go wide, wide, wide. Morris Roach there trying to whip it in a cross, but it didn't happen. Battle for procession down there. Here they come. Once again. A long one up the field. From Morris. A great shot. Oh, well, good save. It's gone out for a 65. A good one there by the halfback. Down, helping out in the forward line. Willie Farrell. A free ball, and there you can see number 17. That's the sub who came into the team. The sub that came into the team, Ambrose Danaher, number 17. He lifts and he strikes. A long one. Out comes Tom O'Shea. Tom will be collecting the cup if Fallon Gary should win today. Here comes Neil Stapleton. He's been doing a lot of running so far today. A nice hand pass from Stapleton. They've got the overlap. Stephen Kylie's inside. Kylie has got a couple of great points already. A look, a weep, a goal! A great goal! Well, 
That's one of the best you'll see, without doubt. A great goal, a bullet. And one could not blame the goalkeeper, Noel O'Brien, for not saving that one. 3-12 to 1-4, and certainly the game at this stage must be gone out of reach for Castletown Ballygrand. But they're a gallant team, a team that will play hurling and play GAA for the sake of promoting it. They've been doing it for since the foundation of the GAA. They'll continue to do it. Here comes the corner back. Michael Portal whipping the ball out the field. Great catch in the centre of the field, Tom O'Gorman. At Colhan, he's been playing a vital part all day. Here comes that nippy corner forward. He has the ball in his hurley, but not for long. He's still running onto it. That's Kieran Mulqueen who had it, but not for long. Whipped down the field, racing for the ball is Brian Reardon. And a solid piece of defence by that number four, Sean Lane for Ballangarry. They come again with a shot and high and it's wide. Points, no good to them at this stage, I can tell you. We're very, very near the end of the game. Kieran Canty blows that whistle loud. Does that indicate the game is nearly over? Well, not yet. Can they make this score more respectable? A good ball into... Oh, well, well, nicely tipped away by the Balangari defence. Here comes Michael Purtle, ball on Hurley, eye on the ball, coming out the far side of the field. A good left-handed puck. Pat Culhan. Towards Stephen Kiley and Ambrose Danaher. Danaher making a break on the air. Niall Stapleton, hooked as he was about to hit the ball. Dermot Callagher trying to bring it out. Staying with it. Plays the advantage. Stephen Kiley, a good one in. That's well bought out by the number four, Pat Joe Blake. Here comes the big full back, playing operating now around the centre of the field, Tierney, but fails to get possession. Here he comes again. Tom O'Shea wrapping that ball down the field. Pat Culhan, they're winning a lot of possession and possibly that's the difference between the two teams and thus making use of it. Castletown, the never say die effort will always be there. Michael Portell is all alone. He has loads of time. He has a look and drives it towards Neil Stapleton. Neil has it in the hand, but Neil is blocked down. Pat Tierney, the captain of the team. Pat finding it hard to get it up. Tom O'Keefe, the captain, and Tom, Tom, Tom. Well, Tom, it's gone wide. I can tell you a big crowd have started to assemble here in the Gaelic grounds. Because both teams in the senior final have never won it before. It's Bally Brown and Doon in that match. But we'll bracket the action, concentrate on this minor B final as the ball goes out for a 65 for Ballangarry. <laughs> Tom O'Keefe. The captain of the team, he strikes it high, looking good and dangerous in the square. Referee Kieran Canty very much up at the action in the square and it's a free out for Castletown Valley Gran.
Here come Balangari challenging for possession once again. Pat Culhan and that left half back that's played very well today, Adrian Morrison. Tierney gets the ball across. A free up. The game is almost over. Alan Gary going in search of another score. Here comes Pat Tierney. A free ball. A free and Tom O'Keefe, I've no doubt, will hit this one. As he has been hitting them all during the afternoon for Ballon Gary. Tom has a look and Tom drives it wide. As they prepare, of course, a lot of the fans believe the game is all bust over. They're settling out on the field. Very little left in the game. A long puck out from Cyril Farr. To the far side of the field. And Alan Gary's corner back gets it down the field again. Own Daffy whipping on the ball. Pat Culhan. Pat gives it a hand pass. They've a lot of room around the centre of the field there. Comes to the corner back. He's well up the field now. I can tell you that's Michael Partell. Neil Stapleton battling for the ball. Neil has the ball in his hand. He's a lad, I can tell you, that'll do well in sprinting. He's been doing a lot of running all day. That's a lovely point. He fought well to get the ball and put it well over the bar. The game is all over. On a scoreline of three goals, 13 points, Ballangarry have won the County Minor League final at the expense of Castletown Ballygrand, who scored 1-4. Both teams, of course, getting a round of applause here from the large attendance at the Gaelic grounds. And it's a great day for these young players to play in a county minor Arlene final and soon they'll be getting their presentation of the trophy from Jim Hickey, chairman of the county board. Tom O'Keefe is the captain of that Ballangarry team. On behalf of the Board, I sincerely congratulate Ben and Gary on winning this final of the Holding Championship. And also I would like to commend and to congratulate Captain John Valley Ben for the sporting manner in which the game was contested. For I would for the importance of the old, it was anybody's game. But I think at the end of the day, everybody was acknowledged that Ben and Gary were for the Holding Champions. I hope that the manner in which the end this game was contested and the standard of sportsmanship and following this day will be also uh, be seen in the other two games here today and that this great day for Limerick following will be a day for all of us to remember. I would like to congratulate uh, Kim Tanti on an excellent handling of his sports county final, also his fellow officials for an excellent job. And now it gives me great pleasure to, to present the cup to the worthy captain of Barangari, Tom Mosey.
There you see the boat teams out there and Castle Town, of course. Nice to see that they stay on the field until the captain of the Ballangari team, Tom O'Keefe, making his speech there. The proceedings here in this County Minor B hurling final is over. A win for Ballangari, 3.13 to 1.4 at the expense of Castletown Ballygran. So from Jerry O'Dwyer on camera, from me, Martin Kiley, your commentator, if Clonagwyf goes...